Now from the Reeser's Red Bud Farms Kitchen. Welcome back. We're in the Reeser's Kitchen for Sunday brunch. We have Eric Hyman with us this morning making so barbecue much. chicken pizza pinwheels. Yes, for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. And happy Mother's Day to uh, my sister in law, Courtney Nichols. Is this one of her favorites? This is one of her favorites. She loves pizza. Okay. So, I'm gonna make uh, a barbecue chicken pizza pinwheel. So you take, you know those uh, pastry sheets that you get, the Pepperidge Farm ones? Yeah. You can use those for anything sweet or savory. Mm -hmm. Usually I use them to make like apple turnovers and stuff like that, but for some reason, I, I just got it in my head. I love barbecue chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. I don't see it on a menu very often. So um, I thought, oh, it would be fun to use these to make these pinwheels, which mm -hmm. you can see over here. Yeah. As I'll show you. Pinwheels are like an hors d'oeuvre. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I'll show you how to make it. That sounds like <laughs> a great idea. How about we start with the pastry dough? Uh, you're going to use a whole sheet. I'm going to turn this off over here. Use a whole sheet. But right now, I'm going to show you just with a half sheet. Okay. And first thing you do, you roll, thaw it out for 40 minutes mm -hmm. because they're frozen. I usually put it in the refrigerator, but I don't recommend doing that because... I don't know, sometimes it gets a little weird. Okay. You take it out from the freezer, just let it sit on your counter for 40 minutes, you're all good. Okay. Roll it out um, to 12 by 12, kind of like a big square. Yeah. And brush it with your favorite barbecue sauce. Okay. And I'll show you really easy, just a thin layer because you don't want it to get too soggy. So we're going to just do that. If you want, for time's sake, we'll just do this. Okay. And then we're going to brush that on real fast. This seems like a really easy kind of thing uh, to put together. I usually, we were talking, I usually get way ahead of myself and do stuff where I'm sitting in my kitchen for four hours going, <laughs> why did I start this? <laughs> right. But this you know? is, yes. Yeah, but this really is super easy. easy. And then we're going to use some red onion chopped up really fine. Which I think makes a barbecue chicken pizza oh, with yeah. the red it, onion. Oh, it totally does. Yeah. You were right. It just seems to have that really nice sweet flavor mm -hmm. that you want that complements the barbecue sauce. So we got that all on there. Again. Just throw it on as you like it. There's no, you don't have to worry about it too much. And then we're going to put some basil, just some dried basil. Sprinkle that on, get a little bit of color on there. Yes, okay. nice. Yeah. And then I chopped up a chicken breast. Okay. Pretty easy. I seasoned it with salt and pepper. And then I just cooked it real quick and diced it. So not too much craziness going on there either. Very simple. And then we're just going to top it off with some finely shredded mozzarella cheese. This is okay. also pretty inexpensive. Okay. And it feeds quite a few people. We're running out of time, so I'm curious before we go how you got them into the pinwheel. You oh, roll it up. Watch real quick. Okay. You, all you do is you grab it and you just roll it. Again, it's super easy and it gives. You roll it up like this. Then we'll take and our knife. And cut it and it stays. And cut it. And it stays. Oh, wow. And just cut it into pieces like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're going to put them in the oven. We're going to come back and taste them out. Yes. And the recipe's at kjrh.com. We'll see the finished product in just a few minutes.